One of the biggest features of CCAD function is to be able to see the range of motion in three dimensions and we can make an independent analysis of the condyles or we can make an independent analysis of the mandibular movement. Every single joint can be analyzed completely independent and we can see what is the joint that can be dysfunctional. The analysis of the joint can be done in every single uh, view. So we have medial displacements of the disc and in many times it's difficult to determine what is the proper uh, range of motion and what is the correct uh, position. In this particular case, for instance, we can see that uh, to see the graphic in the front, we can visualize when this particular patient try to open the mandible, the patient is forced by the occlusion, so the patient goes back and close for the back part, but as far as the patient wants to open, he wants to release the compression that is happening in the joint, and he creates a step in this anterior part. One of the ways to determine the proper treatment that we normally do with neuromuscular dentistry is to tense, relax the muscles, decompress the joints, and get a mandibular position. With CCAT function, we can integrate all the concepts in one um, system. Basically, we can see where is the bite, where the bite is more ideal for this particular patient. We can see, for instance, that the patient is decompressing about this point, that we chose a clean pad of closure. I'm checking about this arch form, and then I can see that this is the position before the condyle and everything compress. I have records previously that I can check when I took my optimized bite position in the patient and also all the different positions for the maximum opening, maximum protrusion, um, and also the position that we got with the bite. So the point is we kind of be able to determine the mandibular position just by getting in the screen where we think that the kinematics of the tracing, the kinematics of the mandibular movement is more ideal. This graphic right here, I stopped the cursor right before the compression at the distalization of the mandible and I can see that with my myobite, that is my optimized bite, I get in the same spot pretty much. I come back again to the same opening and closing and I get to that position with the mandible. Is This is the point that I'm trying to get. This is the arch of closer here is when everything push back. So I'm trying to determine the position right before that compression occurs. So I know that this is the proper trajectory before all this compression. Now I have my neuromuscular bite storage and I will confirm how accurate I am with the kinematics. So I get a general muscular bite and I can see that I'm in the same trajectory of closure with less vertical dimension, of course, to be able to fabricate the less invasive orthotic. In the opt optimized bite position, pretty much this is the area that is touching, that is confirmed with the area that the patient has all these wedding facets um, we can see how all the teeth have been grinding in the front and canines has been broken as a result of the unbalanced mandibular position.